and welcome to our online sustainable highways and street lighting services seminar. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Salex Finance for kindly sponsoring today's event. For some of the questions that we may need to consider are how do we ensure that highways and street lighting services are part of the Build Back Better narrative? So here in Lancashire, we were using our depots for moving um, PPE around and uh, sort of food supporting the district councils is we had a, um, a corporate template to record decisions. Um, no need to get them signed off by a head of service or, or a director who were very often uh, doing other things. It was actually just about recording your decision and the rationale behind it um, and sharing it with others. Will there be more active travel work? Uh, will there be more highway schemes that are coming forward? It's a big unknown. For anyone not aware of Salix, yes, we are a not-for-profit government-funded company dedicated to providing interest-free funding for public sector energy efficiency. So today we're focusing on local authorities, but there is also funding for schools, universities, the NHS and emergency services. Looking now at the drivers for energy efficiency, in particular within street lighting. So there are rising energy costs and pressure on public sector budgets. That's a big one. So any reductions to bills is a big driver for investment. Uh, this map shows the distribution of our clients across England. It's colour coded by region. Uh, our aim is to make the funding accessible to all local authorities, reporting this success back to government. Uh, last financial year alone, there were 47 projects on site, showing there's currently a lot of activity for us to support across the country. We're finding that we can often fund near to 100% of an LED street lighting project. There used to be a five-year five, five year payback criteria um, for the SADIX loan elements, but this is no longer the case. It's now capped by a carbon cost effectiveness measure. So onto the case studies, and this program in particular includes over 49,000 streetlights, so it's quite a large one um, being upgraded, and they're expecting energy savings around 72%. The next photo is a before and after. You can see the old yellow lights um, and then the newer white LED lights. And we're pleased to be funding 100% of the LED project. Um, they're converting over 34,000 streetlights and expecting around 70% energy savings. And there's another nice before and after showing um, the difference with the yellow and the white light and the light pollution, very importantly. Uh, we're funding close to 100% of their large scale upgrade and they're aiming for a 61% energy saving. We're not going to need dedicated hardwired networks anymore um, because the mobile network will be as fast, if not faster, than the hardwired networks. So it gives you an idea now of this network bouncing around everywhere. You know, the, these these little transmitters, these these small units dotted all over sides of buildings. So we were commissioned by the Department for International Development's K4D project to do a overarching review on using waste plastics in road construction. And it is a fairly a new approach um, and not much work has been done on that area, practically on the road. But considering that the example from India where the tropical climate with this higher temperature is concerned, and they are quite doing well even 10, 15 years after their construction sort of is a good news going forward. So what we are trying to do is using robotic and um, automated systems. So number two, for example, um, we are trying to use drones um, to detect um, defects, potholes, cracks on the road, so that's autonomously done, and then using robotics to um, repair um, defects. So we basically want the idea, you uh, close down a road for maybe a couple of hours, a drone flies in, they scan any potholes, and they kind of get the orientation of the indent, and then once they've got the information, they then use an extruder to pour repair materials, so asphalt or tar or anything like that, into the hole, so you get a nice smooth repaired surface. All of the presentation packs will be available post-meeting, um, and again, it just leaves me to say thank you very much to everybody and have a lovely weekend.